I'm gonna review a lesson that we learned right before we left school. So, why do you eat matzah on Pesach? Why don't we eat chametz on Pesach? So, remember when we were learning the story about all of the Jews that were in Mitzrayim and Paro was the ruler of the land and he enslaved all of the Jews in Mitzrayim and he made them work really, really hard and he did not let them rest at all. And then Moshe, Rabinu, and Aaron came to Mitzrayim and they were sent from Hashem and they went to Mitzrayim and they told Paro that he had to let the Jewish people go. And Paro said no. And then Hashem sent the Makot, the ten Makot, Dam, Svardea, Kinim, Arov, Dever, Shechin, Barad, Arba, and Choshech, Makat, Bechorot. After all of the Makot were finished, Paro let the Jewish people go. So all the Jewish people had to leave Mitzrayim really fast, and while they were leaving Mitzrayim, they were trying to bake some challah. And when they were making the challah, they had all the dough prepared and they were ready to leave and they put all the dough on their shoulder and they were leaving with Ryan and all of a sudden it was super super hot out and the sun baked all the dough on their shoulders and it turned it into matzah because if the dough doesn't rise it won't get all fluffy like challah it turns into a flat matzah like this and that is why we eat matzah on Pesach and not chametz so on Pesach, we have to make sure our whole house is clean of all chametz. We have to search all around our house and make sure there's not a single crumb. So if you guys find a Cheerio or any little specks of crumb, clean it up. Help your parents. You're home right now and you can help your parents clean up. I'm going to send your parents a few files and they're going to have a whole list of different things that you can go and clean around the house. So I'll send like a whole checklist and they can give you like little coupons for every single time you clean the house. They can write a little coupon for you. And right now I'm going to read to you a story. This story is called, Look Who's Cleaning the House for Pesach. Pesach is coming. On Pesach, we can't have any chametz in our house. Mommy is busy. Everyone is busy. The family helps get the house ready for Pesach. He cleans his safarim. He finds some crumbs. He carefully shakes the crumbs away. Fanny cleans her lunchbox. She finds a bagel. Is the bagel chametz? Of course it is. It is bread. We can't have that on Pesach. Yassi vacuums under the bed. Uh-oh, he finds a pretzel. Can we have that? Mommy scrubs the refrigerator. She finds a slice of pizza. Who will eat this for me? She calls. We can't have that for Pesach. Zadie checks the coat pockets in the front closet. He finds a cookie. Baby Ellie is so happy to help him eat it before Pesach. Shloimi washes the car. He finds an ice cream cone. It's too old to eat, but we can't have that for Pesach. Rivki cleans the toy box. Oh no, the baby dropped some crackers inside. Shmuli sweeps the dining room floor. He finds a surprise. Something is hiding under the chair. It's a piece of birthday cake. He quickly sweeps it into the dustpan. Baby Ari crawls to the living room. Carpet, he peeks underneath. Look what he finds. Some Cheerios. What chametz did we find while cleaning our house for Pesach? Abba found some crumbs. Hani found a bagel. Hansi found a pretzel. Mommy found a slice of pizza. Zadie found a cookie. Shmoimi found an ice cream cone. Rifki found some crackers. Shmuley found a piece of birthday cake. Baby Ari found some Cheerios. Now the house is clean for Pesach. The family was such a great help. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story about cleaning for Pesach. Now go help your family.